Hi, I'm Darius from ZEV. This is the new T3-5D. That's for five doors. And that's because we have two doors on each side and a rear opening, rear opening door. We had a lot of customers that liked our original T3-1 but they asked for more utility. They wanted to be able to get in the back seat a little easier. They wanted a little more hip room in the back. They wanted the rear seat to fold up into the floor so that it made the back end into a utility vehicle for hauling dog food, the dogs, whatever else they might want, so that this could really be a uh, substitute for their normal daily driving utility vehicle. And that was really the goal, is to try to make this in the land of land of people that buy SUVs and pickup trucks to make this a substitute for a pickup or a car that had the maximum utility. So we have in this vehicle we have power windows all around. We have a sunroof. It's forward facing for, as an air scoop so that in the hot summer months it's blowing the air in. You put all the windows down, you have good ventilation. Uh, this bike has disc brakes. It's 4,000 watts of uh, power. 3,000 continuous is how it's set up for cruise, but it can have up to 7,000 watts for starting out on a hill to give it good acceleration and good ability to pull away with a load. And it's the same motor that we use in our pickup truck versions, so the vehicle it really is underutilizing the motor. The motor is a seven to eight thousand watt motor, uh, rated motor, and we're only running in three continuous, so it's considerably underrated. We use disc brakes on all the wheels. It has windshield washers. It has a heater, which was nice today on this cold winter day. Uh, the uh, charger is external, plugs in right here. If you look here in the back, you can see what I mean by the utility. We snap these latches. Now, if I pull these out, this seat will fold all the way up and into the floor. And this can go forward too, and you can put large objects here in the back. Vehicle comes with a radio. Let's take a look inside. You can see that it's finished all inside. No bare steer, steel, no bare metal. We have radio, four-way flashers, hydraulic disc brakes. You have a uh, parking brake on both levers. So it, it has a parking brake for the rear, rear wheel and one for the front. The vehicle has an option if you would prefer instead of the wide front seat as we have, you have an option for a bucket seat. It just depends on your preference and taste. The vehicle does have seat belts on all three seats. The top speed on this vehicle is 47 miles an hour. Now in states, many states have a moped law that allows you to drive at slower speeds, generally in the speed of not more than 30 or 35 miles an hour. In that case, we have a moped version, so if you do want to drive it in your state, if, if it has that type of law without a license, then that's, uh, that's possible. Also, one of the nice things about these is the insurance is very, very low. So far, the customers who have been purchasing have told us that their insurance has run full coverage for a full year, 80 to $130 a year. And this goes along with the plan for this whole vehicle. The idea was to try to produce 
the lowest cost possible vehicle to put on the road in terms of what does it cost per year to keep it there. So if you say a set of batteries for this is going to run approximately $700, depends on the battery size and there are three different options for different ranges, but if we pick the middle size, which gives us a range of about 70 to 80 miles, then you're looking at about $700 a set of batteries. If the batteries need to be replaced in two to three years, at worst case then, you've spent $400 for a year for transportation cost. There's no other maintenance. Your set of tires are going to last about 10,000 miles. A full set of tires is running under $130 at the moment. The uh, cost of a quote fill up on electricity is about a dollar. So if you drove every day and did a complete fill up at the national average electric cost, you're only going to spend about $120 a year in, in electric costs. And so when you put the $100 a year insurance, a sinking fund for retirement of the batteries of let's say $200, $300, a year, maybe $50 aside for the tires, it just doesn't get any better. There's no other, there's no points to grease, there's no transmission, there's nothing that you need to maintain. You do have to check the steering head bearings from time to time like any other motor scooter or motorcycle and this is categorized as a motorcycle. The, the vehicle uh, when it comes on your certificate of origin, it says motorcycle title on it, and so it will be titled that way in your state. Uh, that's part of the reason that it's able to, to run these really low costs. Top speed on this is 47 miles an hour, as I said. You've got three different battery ranges. The smallest battery size, your you're starting out with a battery that has a range of approximately 70 miles for most customers in daily use. The next size up will bring you to 80 miles. These are a lead silicate battery. The next step up it goes to lithium and the lithium batteries will give you over a hundred mile range and it does make the bike a little more uh, peppy because the bike's several hundred pounds lighter with the lithium batteries. So if you'll check on our website at www.zelectricvehicle, you'll see the web page for this five door and all the prices and the options. And you can also in the intro, the printed intro to this, this video, we'll list the options for the battery options and prices too. You can contact us with any questions at sales at zelectricvehicle.com. Hope to hear from you soon.